Greetings, everybody. This is Pablo Lagoretos for Wager Talk TV here with a free play for uh, Tuesday in the Champions League, November the 4th. Um, we're looking at a match between Real Madrid and AC Milan. But before that, uh, we're a perfect 7 0 run in 5% UEFA totals, 13 and 6 in 5% releases over the last couple of months, and 11 and 5 run in all 5% parlays. So uh, we have a nice 5% Europa League top bet. Uh, loaded for Thursday in the Europa League, uh, and the rest of Tuesdays and Wednesday plays will be loaded uh, by Monday. So um, go to my page, wt.buzz.pl, use code SOC7 to get seven days of soccer for just uh, $59 and get all the midweek plays and, of course, the weekend plays as well. Now, onwards to our free play. Uh, Real Madrid versus AC Milan. Um, Real Madrid are minus 230 favorites uh, at home. The draw is at plus 400 and AC Milan are plus 550 underdogs uh, with the Asian spread set at 1.25 and the Asian total set at 3.25. So based on what we've seen so far, uh, this looks like it will have uh, some goals in it. But Real Madrid tend to be very careful uh, when they're coming off a loss. And now, right now they're licking their wounds after losing by 4 to nil at home to Barcelona in the El Clasico, a um, uh, match that really exposed their um, you know, their weakness in the defense. And in fact, Real Madrid have been cruising for a bruising for quite a while now. Uh, their defense, uh, you know, they, they got smacked in the face by a well-oiled Barcelona machine. Um, and, you know, in fact, Real Madrid had to come back from two goals behind to eventually thrash uh, Dortmund by 5-2 to two in their previous Champions League match. Uh, they lost by uh, to Lille by 1-0 to nil in their second match of the Champions League and they kind of struggled a lot uh, to beat Stuttgart by 3-1 to one, uh, at home in the Champions League opener in a match where they could have easily been 2 nil down, 3 nil down at halftime, but they somehow... Uh, turn around this match and they just uh, won by 3-1 to one, but the 3-1 to one doesn't really reflect what happened in that match. Now, injuries at the back, they have really decimated Real Madrid's um, uh, depth, especially in the defense. Uh, they're missing Alaba, Carvajal and Courtois. They're all considered as starters. I know Alaba has been missing since last season and they have a nice uh, centre-back duo of Militao and Rudiger, but Carvajal at the back is a huge blow. They're using Vasquez there, who is not actually a uh, you know, right back. He's not a, even a defender. He's a midfielder. And um, Courtois might even play in this match. But even if he doesn't, Lunin is a, a pretty good uh, sub. So, um, Real Madrid, whenever they're coming off a bad loss, they're not the team to really lose back-to-back -back matches. So, I expect a bounce back from them. So, um, that loss to Barcelona was their, actually their only non-win at home all season, where they had seven straight wins prior to that, outscoring opponents by 22-6. to six. Now, AC Milan, they have been mediocre uh, in the season so far. Uh, six wins, two draws and five losses in all competitions, uh, with a win and two losses after three Champions League matches. Their defense is bad. They kept just four clean seats in 13 matches. And all four clean seats came against very easy opponents like Monza, Udinese, Lecce and Venezia in the Serie A. And they considered two plus goals in six of thir 13 matches in all competitions. So their only win in the Champions League so far was a 3-1 at uh, home against Club Bruges, who actually fought really hard. And uh, they were playing with 10 men for the entire second half. They did pull even. And they did create actually a lot of chances uh, for a team that's playing on the road uh, with 10 men on the pitch. So they gave, they really gave, uh, you know, uh, AC Milan a run for their money. Uh, prior to that, AC Milan, they lost to, to Leverkusen by 1-0 to nil in a match that should probably have had at least a couple of more goals. And they also lost to Liverpool by 3-1. to one. So their defense is bad. Their offense is mostly relying on the outbursts of Pulisic and Reinders. Now, Pulisic... He's having a really, really strong season, a career year, if you will, uh, with seven goals and three assists in 13 matches in the Serie A and the Champions League for AC Milan. He took at least one shot in 12 of 13 matches and had at least one shot on target in 10 of 13 and in nine of the last 10. So in the last 10 matches that he played, uh, he only failed to record a shot on target in one, which was a 2-0 loss to Napoli, and he came off the bench in that match. He only played 28 minutes. So uh, in his last nine starts, he had at least one shot on goal. So um, he can surely get his first, first serve of chances, uh, you know, scoring chances against this uh, seemingly soft Real Madrid defense. Uh, although, again, Real Madrid coming off a loss, they're going to be really careful. I wouldn't be surprised by a 2-0 win for um, Real Madrid. I'm not touching a side. I'm not touching a total. But I do like uh, Christian Pulisic to have one or more shots on target at plus 100. Uh, at DraftKings, minus 120 at FanDuel. I'm going to take the plus 100 at DraftKings. So, um, 
Uh, here's my free play for the uh, Real Madrid versus AC Milan. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We provide actionable inf information across all sports. I myself am doing soccer, so you'll find the rest of my free plays and the promos and my big 5% uh, in, for the Europa League on Thursday at wt.buzz.pl. Good luck.